Hey everyone, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. This is episode four of Fearless Fridays. So this is Fearless Fridays where I talk about what I'm doing in my body to better it and how to feel better in it. So first let's talk about my calories for the week. This is gonna be a video that is just straight to the point. But uh, this week I tracked every single day, so I was very successful at that. I used my James Clear habit tracker that I bought that is affiliated with the book Atomic Habits, which we're reading on Mondays if you're interested in that, Mindful Mondays. So in total, my calories for the week that I consumed was 12,675. So then let's do my exercise to talk about the calories that I was able to burn uh, by using my bike and my treadmill. So the total calories burned, I'm using my Apple Watch to determine that. I am using the total calories burned throughout the whole day. So it includes your basal metabolic rate, so the number of calories that you just burn just simply by existing, and then add the exercise into that total calorie burn. So this week, I calculated that I burned 17,600 calories in total. So then I take the calories consumed, and then I take the calories burned, and I end up with a deficit of 4,925 calories. So that's great, I hit a deficit. I knew I was gonna hit a deficit because I hit a deficit every single day in my calorie tracker with the calories burned. And so in total, that should be about a pound loss. We'll see. But I think more important than uh, the weigh-in and what that number on the scale is going to reflect back to me, I think that it's been so important for my well-being to exercise every single day. And I'm trying to do this no matter what is going on mentally or emotionally. It helps me feel stronger and more capable. Overall, my clothes are just, they're fitting better. I am looking at myself in the mirror in a different way. I'm just noticing things that are making me feel like a better version of myself. And I do think that exercising has a lot to do with it. And I just, I, all I wanna say finally about that is that I just feel like exercise has so, there's so many more benefits to doing it than just burning calories. Even though I am sort of translating everything I'm doing into calories burned, I do think that exercise really just helps to improve our, our sense of self and our emotional, our emotional fitness, if that makes sense. I find that exercise can become a form of therapy, a form of self-care. So I, I highly recommend that if you're not already uh, doing a regular exercise routine that you, you do something because it does, it does help the mood. <laughs> My mood has increased uh, like positively in, in wonderful ways and I do attribute exercising to that. All right, so the moment you've been waiting for, the weigh-in. So last week I was 179.8. This week, I weighed in this morning and I am 179.3. So that is a loss of 0.5 pounds, half a pound. Uh, of course, it doesn't, this time doesn't match up with the total number of calories like in that deficit. And I, I wanna be very transparent with everybody about that. Sometimes it doesn't work out the way that the math you know, you think the math is gonna work out. Like by the calculation, I probably should have lost like a pound, but instead I lost half a pound, but I do feel lighter. Like, I know I'm not lighter, but I feel thinner. I feel like my body composition is changing. And to prove that to myself, I don't think I mentioned it on this channel, but I did take my measurements at the start of this particular journey. So on August 16th, um, and I really right now only care about my hips and my waist. I did measure everything else, but for the purposes of just like being at the beginning stages of this journey, I am just gonna focus on hips and waist as an indicator. So my hips when I first started were 47 inches and my waist was 36.7. And so I measured again this morning because I was like, I mean, I feel like I look better. So even though I didn't like lose a whole pound, I feel like I lost a pound. 
turns out my hips have gone down a full inch. So I am now at 46 inches with my hips. And then my waist also went down. I am now 35.2 inches. So clearly this is working. Clearly my body is changing in terms of its composition. I might be gaining more muscle. I'm still happy with a little bit of a loss this week, but that is a reminder to not allow a number on a scale to define your progress. I hit all my goals this week. I'm proud of myself and I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing. And I will see you all next week for another Fearless Fridays.